Okay, so I'm out here with Mr. Saka. Still his first day, but I was just out here hanging out. <clears throat> and um, just letting him kind of chill. So I kind of want to show you what we're working on here. So I'm guiding him over here. This is all about the importance of touch. You know, a lot of people kind of remark sometimes how much I put my hands on the dogs and particularly where I'm going to show you what I mean so I'm just slowly working them on this place board I got Mr. Juno over here so he hasn't been on this place board yet so he was on the, he was on going on this one until Juno took it so I'm going to work him into this one there we go okay so here's what I mean so once he settles here a little bit I'm going to come in here and I want to watch So I just massage here slowly in their chest. Then I'm gonna take my hand away. I'm gonna let him have the line and I'm gonna see what he does with it. So if he goes off, I'll let him go. <clears throat> so this is the one I started on. So he's familiar with this place for There we go. There you go, buddy. So watch that foot, boom. Totally relaxes. And adjust your pace when you're petting too. And let's stop. So there's some calming points down there, some pressure points in that area. So I'll bring them back. So look how much lighter I can be bringing them back. Now I'm going to block with the leash. Touch is the first sense that the dogs rely on when they're born the very first then the nose <clears throat> so the warmth of the mother and the siblings that's touch related and what we do with dogs when we work with them a lot of our equipment and what we do like the slip lead is touch related so if he moves even if you're putting a harness on the dog that's that's contact that's touch right so what does it mean what does it represent so for now, with him, see, I'm going to let him go again. But now what am I starting to represent to him is not only direction. I let him go back in the flight. Now I'm going to work him back to the place again. Block. Block. And... Boom, settle, nice. I just keep doing it. Oh, hey Juno, Juno's in the shade. So it's not really, <clears throat> people say, we're well, giving that dog affection when he's nervous and flighty, and I'm like, well, it's not really affection as much as it is just building trust to get my hands on him. And when my hands do go on him, I'm gonna let him sit back there for a second. It's, it's to help um, move him into a different state of mind, more of a calming um, state, but I'm not using any verbal communication with him. I'm not saying it's okay or a good boy or whatever the case might be. Just being very quiet. I'm going to work him back here one more time. So a little pressure. Let's see how quicker he gets on. That boy, bunny. Block him. Settle, boom, right there again. So you can see you start developing this pattern. And then once I'm here, you see I can slowly start going onto the shoulder. As he's nervous about the leash going on, I can come back up this way now. I can come up to the ear. You know, instead of coming straight over his head this way. So you got a little nervous with that. But this, this sound, he would have been gone this morning. Look at him. <laughs> he, can, he can bolt if he wants to. Now he's in a little bit of panic. So anyways, we are just out here chilling out. 
It's all right. I'll let him. I'll let him go out there. That's not bad. So, anyways, that's it, Mr. Saka. <laughs>